this, people. How's it going? We are back late. This is greatness. Do apologize. I hope you're all well. Sorry for being a bit late. Um, but you know, I'm gonna take absolutely the L for it because it's on me. I'm trying to rush around, do too many things. But we're here, we're back, we're live, and uh, we've got all six of us on tonight. Unfortunately, no Maz tonight. I think he's crying because Arsenal destroyed his team at the weekend. Uh, and uh, Errol's had to pull out last minute because he's crying that Liverpool can take three points. No, I'm joking. He's got childcare issues, but we are going to talk about that game, of course. Uh, big up to Dan United, big up to Billy, big up to LB, big up Pete and big up Lawless, big up to everybody in the chat. Uh, 130 of you already joining and waiting for us. So thank you so much for that. Big up to you all. Um, let's get into it, man. This title race is probably one of the best we've seen in a long, long time. I say that because it looks as if there's going to be these three going for it. To the wire. Probably looking at least to the second to last game, if not to the last game of the season. Uh, myself and LB massively involved in it. Errol, of course, massively involved in it. I didn't see the game yesterday. I saw the highlights. And one of you guys are involved in it. Oh! <laughs> 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 what, a, what a dig that is. I mean, you know. Oh, is, that, is that not what you meant there, Dan Potts? Is that not what you meant? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, just make sure you're not a bridesmaid, yeah, Potts. Just make sure you're not a bridesmaid because I wouldn't want to be involved in it and not win the thing, yeah? You want to be that bridesmaid, mate. Coming from a West Ham fan who's never seen him side get into a title race, you would know absolutely nothing about what that means, my bro. Hey, but, championship. Yeah. Championship. He was oh, in the yeah, playoffs. Playoffs. I remember <laughs> playoffs in West Ham. They don't go up automatically, West Ham. They always have to get the playoff. Track. But we're in the title race, though. The title race. <laughs> Yeah, the title race of the championship, my word. Uh, LB, let's uh, let's first of all enjoy what was dropped points yesterday and say big up to Man United and Dan United. Thank yeah, you, my thank bro. You, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Thank, thank, thank you, you so mate. much. Honestly, Honestly thank, thank you Christ. so much. For, team, for, team player. Team player. Yeah, yeah, what, Lawless is crying because he wants Liverpool and Man City to you know knock us out of the title race. But Liverpool have dropped first. Are Man City and Arsenal going to drop? I personally... Felt like Man City were going to win all of their eight games, and I still stand by it. I think they'll win their seven. That means that Arsenal have got to win seven in their champions now. Seven cup finals for the Arsenal to lift the trophy. And it doesn't matter if Man City win 12 0 in their last seven. We've just got to win those last seven now. But it's not Arsenal or City yet. Let's come to you first, Dan, because your team decided to turn up. First of all, by the way, no, no, they didn't, didn't turn up. Not the first half, no. they didn't. No, well, listen, they've, they've done the result that I needed. That's all I care about. They've turned up and got something out of the game. Liverpool um, done that, Potts. Liverpool done that. To be fair, do you know what? I'm not even going to ban that. Liverpool should have been about 4 nil up from what I could see in the match of the day. They were shot. Like, can we actually talk about some of these like players? Because that Sobers lie has been given like absolute wow, bowing down to how good of a signing he's been. I ain't seen it, man. I ain't seen this Sobers lie as a great signing. I've seen Alexis McAllister as a great signing. Darwin Nunez, let's talk about that. What the hell was that guy doing when he's through? He just needs to put it in and he's trying to chaos square it. Back. He's chaos. Isn't he? He's just Absolute chaos. Absolute chaos, right? But let me big up the two goals for Man United because that deserves a mention. Fair play, Kwan Sa. I'm not going to give him stick because he's a kid, but terrible back pass. What a hit, by the way, from Bruno. And that Kobe Mainu kid is probably, I don't know if you agree with this, Dan one of the very small positives that you can take from a Man United season so far. That kid looks electric, man. He's so good. And, you know, I was listening to Paul Ince earlier saying he didn't even think he was that good. Well, pff, weren't a bad bloody goal, was it? Let's be real. I was quite impressed, man. I've been impressed with this kid since he's put on a Man United shirt, to be fair. And uh, listen... Cambuala as well. It's got to be a shout out to Cambuala. Uh, I was going to interrupt then and say and mention him because he's been, he was quality. I've been really he was impressed. Chucked in, you know, we, we get so much about, you know, the youngsters for Liverpool doing so well. Um, he comes in playing next to Harry Maguire as well. So, you know, he's, you, you know, it's going to be a, a, a it's going to be either incredible or it's going to be horrendous. Playing with Casemiro, who yesterday reminded me of, of a, a Sunday League pub footballer, was just, it was embarrassing. Couldn't string a packs together. I was well impressed with Kambwala and he was my man of the match. I thought he was thought he was stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, loves getting involved with the crowd as well, which I absolutely adore that with players. I do. I think, you know, we need that connection at the moment. The connection's so bad. So I was chuffed, but it was first half, worst worst I've seen it for a long, long time. Um, I watched LB stream at half time because he was doing a, a miracle along, as he called it, which was stunning. Love that. Um, 
Mm. And it was just, it was embarrassing. It was embarrassing. Dead balls, just defensively shocking. I don't know if it's zonal marking or if we're trying to landmark. I don't know what we're trying to do. Whenever a team switches the ball from left to right, we're completely out. We're, we're taken out of the game. Simple as that. We don't know what to do. We're chasing shadows. Um, Rashford starting over Anthony yesterday. Can't believe I'm saying that. I can't believe I'm saying that, but I just don't know what, what Rashford adds to Manchester United at present. I, I, I think after Anthony's, we can all admit, world-class ball against Chelsea. That 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 ball he plays for Garnacho is just an absolute dream. I'd have, I'd have picked him against Liverpool. I think his, you know, he, he was he was up for it. He was ready. So I think the problem Liverpool have is when it comes to Old Trafford for the last couple of times they've come, it's just been chaos. Everything that they do so well going forward, these passes they play, it just goes out the window. I don't know what it is. Um, I, I absolutely have got to echo what you said about Mainu. That finish for an 18-year-old kid who, by the way, for the since he's come into this team, has taken that that bunch of fucking overpaid claims on his shoulders and tried to just push us through was absolutely incredible. I was so happy. I was almost emotional watching that kid yesterday. My problem is we're going to ruin him. Um, it, it all depends on who comes in as manager. <laughs> if, if Southgate comes in, which look, it's such a like like down before. from we're such a positive. That's such a down from but that. No, yeah, he's really going to ruin it. You've got to be realistic. You've got to be realistic. I said to LB in midweek. Um, after the Chelsea game, if I was Mainu in the changing room, I'd be sat there in tears thinking, shit, I joined the wrong academy as a kid because this club could potentially ruin him. But look, take take nothing away from the fact that the game finished 2 all. The penalty against wan it's a penalty. It's, it's, it's an annoying penalty because players nowadays are taught to just dangle that leg and expect the challenge to come in. Um, but we have to take the positive, which is taking a point off Liverpool, hopefully stopping those twats from winning the Premier League. We've stopped the fucking quad father, and now we're trying to plug the fucking treble up as well. Done. Love it. I love that, man. Love that, Dan. Big up to you, man. Listen, Man United have been bantered and laughed at, but imagine if you could stop Liverpool and uh, Pots. From, Pots. from winning it. Just, on. just a quick one. Pots. Just a quick one as well. Jurgen Klopp going full Kevin Keegan at the end of the game as well. Fucking loved it. Loved it. I, and I quote, and I quote, Arsenal are a good team. If they play like that today, Manchester United, Arsenal will win 100%. Is that for you, Klopp? I'll have to play the <laughs> night under nines against fucking Arsenal if it means you don't fucking win the Premier League. <laughs> Go on, Dan. I love it. He was rattled, Dan. He was, he was rattled, man. And so listen. rattled. The, the reason he's rattled because he knows now that's another game against Manchester United, which they not only should have won, they should have battered you guys because in both games they were massively on top and in both games they, they've come away with a, dis, a disappointing result, obviously being knocked out of the FA Cup and then drawing with you guys yesterday. Here's the thing, like, you can... I, 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 watched, it, I watched the FA Cup game, did a watch along for the FA Cup game, did a watch along for the game yesterday. It's the same game. Liverpool exactly. batter you. You're absolutely awful. Everyone's laughing at how bad Man United are, but Liverpool don't kill you off. And when you don't kill teams off, regardless of how bad you are, any team in the Premier League, if you don't kill them off, they'll they can hurt you. <laughs> Palace did it to us when we were two and up. Sheffield United did it to Chelsea yesterday. Burnley have done it a couple of times this season. If you're in the Premier League, and you don't kill teams off. Uh, Brentford to, to you. You've got to kill these teams <laughs> off and. You are absolutely shocking, but for Liverpool's point of view, it's their own fault, and I think that's why that's why Klopp so rattled a little bit because you know he knows it wasn't that you guys put in a masterclass. I mean, let's be real, yeah, Quanta gave you know, Fernandez, again. yeah, 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 yeah you know, Quanta give you the ball, he took it, and then mainly puts one into the top bins, but he didn't kill you off, and that's 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 a problem, and, and that is huge. And by the way, this just proves yet again that Arteta did the right thing at, at, at he had last week. I was defending Ars Arsenal and Arteta last week when they was getting stick off everyone, saying, oh, he came in shit out. He did. He came and played for a point. He came and played negative football. You know, he parked, parked the whole of North London on the pitch at, at, at the Etihad. But I stuck up for him at the time and said, I actually think what Arteta has done, and you guys all know, because I said it on here, he's put Arsenal in a position now to say, do you believe Liverpool will drop points in a single game from now to the rest of the season? Arteta clearly believed yes. And if that happens, Arsenal become... Basically, it's in their hands. And look, Matt, one week later, it's now in Arsenal's hands. 
So credit credit to Arteta. I think uh, he got it right last week. But listen, that was a that was a bad result. Bad result for Liverpool yesterday. But fair dues, man. Fair dues to to, to United. Do you boys not think, or, or did you not watch and, and see Liverpool cracking under the pressure? Because that, that's what I saw. Uh, you, you're right. They should have won the game. They've thrown both these games away, Pete, ain't they? At Old Trafford, yeah, both but, of them. But, but, is, but isn't that a sign of them cracking under the pressure? Because you would expect to Liverpool to go there and win comfortably. They've done it in seasons gone by. They've gone to other grounds and done it in seasons gone by. Um, and kept themselves within a race when they were up against Man City in the years gone by. I saw players that normally would be there full of confidence that didn't have the confidence to go and do the job. And that, no disrespect to Man United, that I don't think was anything to do with Man United. I think it was about them knowing how big that game was and the pressure that was there. And I saw that they buckled. And I saw Jurgen Klopp's reaction after the game as a realisation that these players are struggling with the pressure. That, that's what I got from it. I, I don't know if you boys are going to... Well, Pete, I, I, I think that you could be onto something there because, you know, a couple of weeks ago, we were speaking on, on the show about, like, you know, the emotion of Klopp leaving and, like, all the players are desperate to 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 to, to do it. And, like, we've seen the late goal against uh, Notts Forest, Nottingham Forest, when Nunes put the ball in the 99th minute. And you're sitting there thinking, all the players are digging in really, really hard for Klopp. And the emotion of how they're playing, they're literally going out and they'll die on that pitch for that man. That's all well and good, right? But that also is very draining on the players. And whilst emotion can, can, can take you to success, it can also go the other way. Now, clearly, it's too soon to say that they're about to fall off and, and have a bad period. But, you know, Pete could be onto something in the sense that, like, it could just be the fact that maybe this occasion of, of, of playing for the manager and doing everything possible to get the trophies for Klopp, it, it could be seen as a negative. It, it could be. We'll only find out come the end of the season. But everyone loves to talk about how the positives of, of having Klopp leaving and the emotion of all the players digging in and that. That's all well and good. I understand it and I agree. But it can also go the other way. You can't deny that. Just to add to that, sorry, just to add to that, in the back of, like, because everyone's thinking about Liverpool going on and winning the league, exactly what LB's just said. But for me, I'm, I'm thinking about what the players might be thinking here. The pressure of them needing to win the title. It's Klopp's last season. They need to win it. Because let's let's be honest, they don't know who the manager's going to be next season. There are players in that team that may be in their mind thinking, are we, are we even going to be fighting for the title next season? Is it whatever manager coming in going to be able to replicate what Jurgen Klopp is able to do? They might be, there's pressure there. Which is exactly it, what happened at Old Trafford when Fergie left. Which is exactly what happened, and you can honestly sit. You can't sit there and say yesterday that they they dropped points to a tactical masterclass. They didn't. It was two moments of brilliance. They they were all over us. They they had for the last fifteen minutes. Every time the ball came into the box, we just passed it back to them on the halfway line, and they came out wave after wave after wave. And if not for the penalty, I sat there and I was thinking they ain't scoring here today. Salah was missing silly chat, silly chances. That one with Diaz right in front of the goal. You know, he's like four yards out. We talked about Nunes trying to, is he trying to pass it across? Is he trying, what the hell is he doing? So was it was. So I, I agree, Pete. I agree. You know, to, to win the league, to win everything that Errol said they were going to win. That's not a dig at Errol, but that's what he said. You've got to have the mentality. And I just, I wonder exactly like, you're, like you and Elby are saying. Is it starting to creep in now? What are we going to do next season? What happens well, next? Before, uh, before uh, I, I, I do, go on, buddy. Go sorry, on. sorry, but I, I think on. Liverpool are missing a huge player in Diogo Jota as well, though, because yeah, yeah, the, he's a killer, he's, man. He's, he's a killer. exactly his finishing. You know, you you put that Nunes chance, and if 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 he's Diaz in that situation, he's taking that shot on. If he's Nunes in that situation, he's taking a shot on and and scoring probably both of those. He's just that clutch player that they can rely on, that they can bring off the bench, that they can start, that scores goals, in my opinion. And I think he's a huge, huge loss for them. I don't buy and that. I don't know when he's coming back. I, I, it's I mad, it's mad that. as well, because there's a lot of people who are saying, like, oh, we've got the best front five in the league, blah, blah, blah. Mm. I agree, and they've got some quality players up top. For that Wasteful reason, though. Pops. For that Wasteful. reason. How many times has is, is, is Errol been on this channel, on this show, saying they've got the best attacking five out of every team in the yeah, Premier Yeah, but that's not that's not true, though, is it, though? No, we no, know that's well, not true. Yeah, they they love to talk about it, but it's not true. 
Yeah, but I'm but I'm but I'm using that, and he said that all season. Like in, in respect to him, he's put his chest out and he said that. But actually, yeah, Jota's a quality player, quality player. But if you're gonna brag and you're gonna say that you've got the best attacking five uh, as, as as a group of players in the Premier League, then one player going out. Those boys need to come in and do the job. And the reality is, is some of those boys are just not good enough. No, and you're right, Pete, on that. Like, the Liverpool fans that, that, that say, oh, we've got the best five, we've got the best five. Like, they got to have to hold it. But Billy's also correct in that if Jota was there... Because that, that, let's be honest, yeah, none of us are taking Gakpo at our club. Yeah, some of us would take Diaz, some of us wouldn't. I don't. I think he's well overrated, personally. Yeah, I think he's well overrated. Nunes has been brought in as a striker, 80 million quid. You know what I mean? I don't... I just, I don't... He's, I like the guy, but I don't know what he's, like in the team to do like I know how the people criticize his like ball ability but at least the guy puts the ball in the back of the net right what what I know Nunes has actually done all right on goals this year but like he's meant to be a goal scorer is he not is he now a false nine he's playing on the wing like let's be honest there's only two players that you can truly trust to put the ball in the back of the net and that's Salah and Jota and even Salah misses chances now and again so you know they like to talk about the five players but you know Gakpo and Diaz for me and no I'm nowhere near good enough that's just my no, opinion. I genuinely don't think I, I agree really. with that. Gakpo, agree. particularly terrible man. Gakpo is awful, man. But Lawless has been very quiet. I want to get his thoughts on, uh, you know, the title race now, and then I'll come to LB about what this might mean. The Etihad was a draw. Liverpool United was a draw. Does it mean anything? Is it too early? Like, where does this leave you uh, at the moment with these three teams, Lawless? <clears throat> well, it's tight now. Liverpool fucked up absolute clown show of a team um you know of all the players i do feel sorry that it was the young lad kwanza who, who has fucked up but i said it before that could be the gerard slip part two that that pass i don't know what the fuck he was thinking he, he had no pressure on him no need to make that pass could have passed the keeper so he's basically now now it's pressure now it's just going to be the next team to lose really because it's going to go neck and neck so yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Liverpool need those players back. They need Trent back massively. They they need those bodies back because that showed that the team that they was able to put out was just not good enough. And their big players ain't got what it takes. New um, Arsenal, a lot of games coming up, thick and fast. Bayern Munich to play. They've got to go. I swear to God, Dan, if your fucking team roll over, bend over for Arsenal, yeah, I can't ever look at you ever again. Like, I live, I, I live, I live hundreds of miles away from you, so I'm not going to lose sleep. To be fair, <laughs> no, I'm not telling you because like a pass, that... it's not like a pass on the way to Waitrose, mate. So don't worry, I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, but why, listen, why would you? Why would you? Why would you? Why would they care? They don't want Liverpool or City to win the league. Yeah, but exactly. so why, what, where's their fucking... Where's your pride, Dan? Where's your fucking self-respect? It's been stripped. I'm sat here with a pink fucking cup, mate. This is what they've done. <laughs> I'm fucking, I've got no you, pride. It's gone. You this know is a makes me laugh. I'm really bold like you. I've pulled my hair out. It's gone. Everything's gone. You know what makes me laugh, right, about a lot of these mugs, right, like Arsenal awesome fans and other people, they'll sit there and go... Ah, uh, like it's it's Man City, Man United. They're, they're not really rivals. Arsenal, Man United. Oh, that that was the rivalry. That was the rivalry. Oh, two teams that hated each other go for the title. Now, Man United fans are bending over for such a fierce rivalry. You're such rivals that you fucking want them to win the league. So why do you That's want to win the league so much then? Why, why Liverpool? You got your fucking big bro bottom right corner. No, yeah. I'll take yeah. either. To fucking win it. I'll so take much. either. I'll take either, but this is the way I see it, yeah. Yeah, but okay, look at it from our look at it from our point, right? If if City win it, they break our record record. So we are currently tied mm. with three in a row each. They win it, they get four. That that beats another record of ours. Liverpool. I don't want Liverpool to win at fucking bingo, mate, let alone the fucking Premier League. <laughs> yeah, Liverpool, I understand. Liverpool, Jeez. I understand, yeah. But you go on about records and all of this shit. Do you know what the funniest thing is? Right, they could do four in a row, Man City. Right, they could do a quad, they won't be half as insufferable as Arsenal fans of just winning one title in 20 years. They had one title in 20 years, they'll act as if they've broken all your records. Right, the street's already lawless, 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 lawless. We need to stop. What are we doing? There's a man uh, who's on the screen next to me that is sat there. Loving this, we've been good for the last couple of weeks. We need to just agree to disagree, bro, and just 
Just remember, I, I'm, just anticipating, I'm just anticipating Man United bending over, like for you know, in a few weeks. It, it has, well, we, say happens, we, bend, we say we bend over, we, we've lost fucking over 10 11 games this season. You're saying it like we can just turn it on and smash Arsenal, yeah. And to be fair, like I can't even blame Man United because it was self destruction for it. It was Liverpool beat themselves, really and truly. It, it was so, um, but yeah, it's still all to play for. Man City, do you know what? It, it was, I think it was, it was foolish and naive of me to ever feel like I because we said this in the group chat and because LB was like, Whoa, what's going on, bro? Why, why Liverpool? What's what's happened? What's up to West Ham? Just the city, and I thought it's just they're, they're the most likely at the moment. I got and I was naive, I was naive to think that to, to, to doubt to ever doubt Man City. To ever think that Man City weren't the boys to to pull it off, even though it would be funnier if Liverpool did it, because Lord, don't feel bad. Stupid. LB dates them every other fucking week. We get the voice <laughs> yeah. notes. That's it. Season's done. Season's finished, lads. See you next season. Yeah, don't LB. I, I guess LB's saying congratulations to Arsenal because it was a two-way shoot off, apparently. Um, so I guess That's now what I said. That's not what I said. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I love. I loved. I loved that midnight. That midnight uh, message on the chat, lads. Sorry, I'm gonna win the league. Nah, <laughs> yeah, nah, nah, nah. Just that nah, nothing. Nothing. No conversation happening. Just sorry, lads. We're gonna win the league. <laughs> nah, 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 I, I love, love it. Rum again, love LB. It. Been on that cheap rum again, haven't you? Yeah. I love it. I love it when LB's just like absolute head loss moment, and the next week he's like. Tell you what, this is looking good again now. <laughs> I love it. It's no, no, so no. Good. Well, my position has not changed. The reason, well, the reason why I was so down and deflated after the Arsenal game is because the only way I could see my team winning the league is if we won nine out of nine. That's what I said at the time. We've now won two out of nine. We've got seven left. Our next game is against Luton at home. Then we've got down to six games. I believe that Liverpool and Arsenal will drop points in another game this season. Arsenal have a really tricky run now to the rest of the season. Yeah, they've got the hardest fixtures out of the three of us. That's a fact. So you have the easiest fixtures out of the three of us. That's a fact, according to position in the table. So the task that my club is therefore set is, can my team now win the next seven games? And before that, it was nine. Because that's the only way that we win the league. Because I don't see you guys dropping points in more than one. I think you guys he's have got to play Doku again the rest of the season because that, that decisions like that are what is going to cost you a league title. Hopefully, don't shit houses like well, that. Well, Doku, Doku on the right's not that bad. He plays all right on the right. When he plays on the left, he's, he stinks up the gaff a little bit. But we've got to utilize our squad. Listen, we got we got Luton coming up next. Win that, you're down to six games. You know, I think the city can win this league, but I think we've got to win the next six. And to win the league, we've got to win the nine out of the nine, which is what I said at the time, which was unlikely. It was difficult. We had Villa. Yeah, Villa a good side. We had Palace away. Palace are a bogey team. We've still got to go to Spurs. We've never scored a goal at Spurs in the Premier League. We've never scored a goal at their stadium mm -hmm. in the Premier League. So this is why I was Please so... Please do not worry about that game, LB. Please do not worry about that. Spurs. Oh, we lost our 5-0. Oh, dear. Arsenal can't win the league. Oh, dear. <laughs> That's what will happen when you go there, mate. That will be sort of oh, like Lawless is actually looking at Man United and giving them stick. He's completely forgotten that Tottenham have got to play, have got to play Man, Man City and Arsenal. So let's have it right. Lawless they is sitting the there chance, talking about yeah. Man United. Spurs West, are going to be the one. West Ham have got to say as well. You've got you got you got to play Liverpool. Yeah. Oh, they'll, they'll, they'll roll over, yeah, roll over. We've got another. Lawless, if you dare roll over for Liverpool, you'd be great. Right. Let's Listen, do seven and eight up. nil, yeah. Seven and eight nil. Big up to Richard for uh, gifting ten members memberships, man. Absolute legend. Thank yeah, you so legend. much for that, guys. And big up for your super chats. They will get read out. Do not worry. We've got some really good ones as well, and some good questions that I've starred. Um, mate, I'd, LB, let me just finish with you on this title race because um, I think you will win all your games. What game are we going to drop, and what game are Liverpool going to drop? Because you think both will drop. You said, yeah. I think I think you you both well I have to believe that you're both going to drop points otherwise I can't win the league anyway. So you know I've got to, I've got to assume that you are going to drop points otherwise you know what we're doing here. Um, you got you, I mean you, I think a lot of your games are tricky, man. I really think you've got a really tricky. I think Arsenal have got the hardest run by far. You got Villa at home, right? And I know Villa are a bit weird at times. But, you know that could that's just after buy in as well. Wolves away, solid team. Chelsea, their record against the big six is actually pretty decent and they're not going to want you to win the league. Either. Spurs away, tricky. 
Bournemouth are now in mad form again. I don't know if you've seen that. Yeah, you know I mean they might be back in form, but they're, they're flying. I think they're like eleventh. Um, United, that's their last home game of the season. United, so they're going to try. And then Everton, who might be in a relegation scrap. So why did you say Arsenal win the league then? I didn't yeah. say you're going to win the league. I think City win. You the did league. last week. Oh, I think it'll be Arsenal now win this league. Well, well, well. Uh, you should win the league. <laughs> you should win the league. You, you're why should we win the league? You why it's should we? It's in your hands. Hang on a minute. Listen, I want Arsenal to win the league, and I'd love it, right? And I'll be well pissed if we don't, right? Like how every fan will. Saying Arsenal should win the league. I don't know. You've just said we've got the hardest it's, fixtures. It's, is it in your hands, box? Right? Is it in your hands? Yes, yeah, it's in our oh, hands. Got got in Liverpool. Right. Liverpool just proved how hard it is. You can't say after Liverpool just dropped to Man United. Well, I'm gonna, no, no, no. Should win no, this I can't, no, I can't. I can't say it because I respect your football club. Your defence is the best What do you think defense? we're going to drop points then? If you think we should win the league, how are we going to if we're going to drop points? Well, well, hang on a minute. There's two, 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 two different things I'm saying here. You should go on and win the league from here. You've got the best defence probably of any team in Europe right now. Right? You've got Declan Rice sitting in front. You've got Saka up there. You've got Havertz who's cooking. Right? You, 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 you should go and win these remaining seven games. What do you want me to do here? Like, I feel like Arsenal fans, you, you can't win with them. You know, you, I sit here and I respect your football club and say, you've got a great team. You know what I mean? You've got the best defence in Europe. You should win these seven games. And then they go, oh, no, 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 no. No, I don't want you to say that, no, because we could drop points here or there. So then you go, I know you probably will drop points against bloody Bournemouth. And then they go, what, you're calling us crap? You don't respect us. This you is win. it. You can't this win is Arsenal. Arsenal but, but do you know why? Do you know why? Wait, what you're saying there is absolute facts, right? But do you know why I questioned you on it? Because you're like, last week, Arsenal think they're going to win this league. Then you've just reeled off eight games that we might drop points of and then gone, but Correct. they should win the league. Well, guess what, so that's Dan? why I'm winning putting you up on it. Easy, Which bro? one is it? Which w winning one is it? Is, winning, winning the league is not easy. Facts. My club my club is in the same position. My club's got to win the next seven out of seven. Your club's in the same. You want to win the league? Go and win the games. It's not easy. We've got tricky games well, as well. Why, not, do think, as... why do you think then, and this isn't me bannering, because I'd would, I would love to win the league, right? And the way we're playing at the moment, we've got to have confidence to us, we can do it. Why are we third favourites still then? Because of you running. you got a fucking solid running. And it's um, yeah, I, I disagree with that. I think it's because we've got a manager that hasn't done it. And this isn't me coming at Arteta again before people start getting excited in the chat, right? I'm just saying that we're coming up against two managers that know how to do this. We've got a team and a manager that don't know how to do it. And I think that's why we've been disrespected. Well, not disrespect, that's probably the wrong word, but that's why we've been looked at as the third favourites here still. Well, maybe. Because right that, now... That, that could be it. That, that could be it. But, but let, let me address this. LB, you're contradicting yourself, though, because you're saying we should win the league, but you're saying we'll drop points. But well, you're not listening to what I'm saying. You should win the league. Yeah, you've played 31 games this season. Out of the three teams, City, Liverpool and, and Arsenal, you've been the best team. You've got the best defence in Europe. You should now go on and win seven out of seven. That's what you should do. Now, if you're going to... I don't think you're going to do that because I think to do that would be insane. But you should do. You've got a sick team. You're in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Mark my words, you'll beat Bayern Munich tomorrow. 100%. So you should win the next seven. And if you win the next seven, that'll be a remarkable achievement. A remarkable achievement to win all those games. But, obviously, do I think you're going to do it? No, I don't think you I think you will drop points. But that will be a huge disappointment. You wouldn't sit there and say, oh, no, don't worry. I can't like, even, uh, again, I can't even play devil's advocate there. I, I can't agree with you. <laughs> I can't even play devil's advocate there. No, I'm tricky. with you, I'll be, Of course it's tricky, though. My team's in the same position, Potts. So yeah, you've yeah, got to yeah. win seven out of seven. But no yeah, one yeah, said yeah. winning a Premier League is easy, is it? So, everyone, you know. Everyone get the transcript on this and remind him next time he sends a voice note saying, that's it now, nah, lads. No, we're done. We're done. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> LB, come on. Well, my team has to win seven out of seven. Sort of but, okay, let, let me let me flip it then. And, and Lawless will love this because he thinks I'm up Arsenal's arse. They've answered every question so far. And they've done it a lot better than they did last season. And that, for me, is why I think that they're in a far better a far better state to do it this season. Games like Brighton last season, I don't think they'd have gone there and got the 3-0. We've said about this, getting the points off Liverpool, getting the points off you guys. You guys have still got to go and play seven. And and do you know what? There, there's still, there still is mistakes in City, mate. There is. Look, we're the kings of mistakes, United are. But I watched you against Palace going forward great. But there was some questionable, questionable defending against Palace. At yeah, but, but we're accepting that now, Dan. We changed our stats. In the last two games, you've seen City change the way we play football. We've tried to sort our defence out all year. 
We've tried different personnel. We've tried different systems. We've tried play, trying Kovacic in there. We've tried Bernardo in there. Don't work. So what I said we should do, and Pep has actually done this, is just say, you know what? Fuck the defence. Let's, let's just fucking go for it. And you know what? We're going to concede goals. But who cares? If we win our seven games, we will probably win the league. If we don't, fair play. I'll clap whoever wins. Because that's, again, remarkable. But there's no... Oh, yeah. we, can't, we, the we, can't sort, we can't sort the defence out now. We've just had... We just... One of those years... You know, Newcastle have had one of those years with injuries. We just got one of those years where our just defence is just not, not, not great. KDB back though, mate, and firing. Everyone said at the Arsenal game, he's 100 done goals, them. hundred goals, hundred goals, what, what, and, and both both stunning strikes, weren't they? You they watched were, that. Foden was dropped, and I was like, oh, okay. Foden dropped for my FPL. I was like, oh, what's happening here? KDB, bang, bang, bang. Haaland scored again. You know, he's a. This is what they do, man. This is what they do. This is why I think they'll win the seven, and that's why I think Arsenal have now got to go and do it because I think you have a perfect. And this is what this is probably the biggest compliment I can give to all three teams, right? They respect each other to this stage. We've just had a conversation about it because we believe all three teams are going to have a near perfect end. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Now, it might not happen. Someone might crumble. Someone might bottle it, if you want to shout that out. I don't think any team can bottle it this year, in my opinion. I don't think Liverpool can bottle it for being two points clear and now no longer. I don't think that happens. I think there's three teams going at it. Whoever wins, I think you just got to shake their hand and say, Do you know what? Fair play. It's been entertaining. You were the best one. Whoever wins it is going to deserve to win it. You can't look at a Premier League table and go, well, they don't really deserve that. You know, I see Simon Jordan today on Talk Sport and Graham Souness going at it, going, well, if anyone wins this, I'm not sure Man City are really that great anyway this year. So it won't really be a massive achievement if Arsenal win it. Just shut the hell up, man. Whoever wins this league is going to deserve to win this league, whether it's Man City, Arsenal or Liverpool. Yeah, that's what happens in a Premier League season. Yeah, you might look back at it and go, that was a bit of a... Uh, potential Alex Ferguson moment with Klopp manages to win it with Liverpool. People have said that in like 13, 14, we had a shocking team and won the league. You can say that if you want. I don't think Liverpool got a shocking team. I don't think Arsenal or City have. But listen, I know Lawless is worried. I know. I love it. I love the fact he's worried. And he won't sit there and say that he is because he wants to make out that Arsenal are going to throw it away again, which we could still do. But he's worried. That means that we're playing well. I thought against Brighton we were dominant. I must say, I didn't think Brighton were particularly good. I thought in the first 10 minutes, I thought they had the ball, but did mu didn't do much with it. I thought Arsenal defensively, though, showed why they're top, man. Ben White was amazing. I'm glad he's OK after that horrific injury he got, by the way. Um, from that, uh, oh, I'm glad he got up from that. Um, but, uh, no, he that should was be fucking so banned. That's what yeah, that was be. embarrassing. I, I can't defend that. That's just embarrassing. But he's not the only one to do it, mind you. But it was shocking. But Gabriel Saliba are monsters. But going forward again, Kai Havertz, man, I've got to give him the props. I've got to say fair play to him. And I've got to say fair play to Mikel Arteta for proving a lot of people wrong, for sticking by him, for putting him in the position that I really wanted him to see him in. I don't think he's a midfielder. I still don't. I think he's proving why he's not, man. He can be a real menace in that position at number nine. And I've been really impressed with it, man. Um, so we'll see. Let me come to Pete lastly on this. Um, you've always had kind of, not Arsenal's back, but you've always thought we could do it. Um Maybe you're returning the favour because I've had Newcastle's back. I don't know. But I do feel like, you know, you've always had, thought that Arsenal could do it. Still confident we can, bruv? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I, I said it last week. Um, when you asked last week, I said I had a sneaky feeling for Arsenal um, that Arsenal could do it. And that, obviously that was before the, the Liverpool-Man United game. Um, yeah. E even more sort of confident that you guys can do it. Uh, you've got a tough round of fixtures, but you've already proven you can go to places... Uh, and get results that I, I still go back to the the Etihad. That that for, from a mental aspect, that was massive for Arsenal, and you could see the confidence. Brighton's not an easy place to go, but you went there and literally wiped the floor with them, um, and there was no complaints. They tried to play football, but you were just way too good for them. Um, and as long as that confidence continues, um, you will go and win every single game. Like I, I am, like, but I do think that Man City will be there. I think Man City will win all their games too. So uh, it, it will be very, very close. Um, I, I, th I, think it, I, I think you've got more than enough to do it for, for sure. But, um, but it's about having that confidence. Will last season's disappointment be that fire to kind of drive you guys and get you guys over the line? Because you are. You're going to have to go and win every single game. It's whether they've got the, the belief you can't afford to drop off. You can't afford to do a Southampton at home like you did last season. That cannot happen. Um, who's your next game? Arsenal's next game is Aston Villa at home. 
Yeah, that know. ass, man. That shit now. Uh, <laughs> whoa, 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 Let's week. come on. Let's let's leave that. Let's come on to it. Let's do, do. Let's chuck some of these super chats first, then we'll move on to uh, <laughs> to you guys because I know LB's not got long. Uh, this one comes in from Mr. Big Beast. What a great name. Uh, this says, "Not saying we'll win it, but I've got to give credit to LB for not being salty about the nil nil and saying Arteta has position just for a shootout against Liverpool." Um, listen, I think Man City will be right up there. Um, but thanks for the super chat, man. Fair play. Uh, this one comes in from Nico. I thought this guy was poor yesterday, but I did only see the highlights. It says, can we say Mo Salah isn't in good form at the moment? Big up all the lads. Come on, you gunners. I, I don't know. Did he have a bad game? Did anyone actually watch the full mm. game and think Salah played badly? Because I, I didn't look at him and think, oh, he's just mm. missing everything and he got a penalty he's and that's it. Like, missing big chances, man. He has to get stick. Like, you're the big player. You're the highest paid player. You're not stepping up when it counts. He's not being talked about enough after that game. You have to get shit. You're the big man. Step up. He didn't step he, up, mate. He Let was quiet. He was he was quiet through long parts of that game. Is he going? I, is he off? Do you think? I think he's gone. I mm. I, I said it. I said it at the beginning of last season. They were, they weren't having it. I thought he was. There was rumours that they were going to spend Saudi were going to spend 150 million on him, and there was rumours that he wanted to go. For me, and I said it to Aaron, and I still I still back it. People talk about Saudi and the league and all the rest of it. He's going to be god over there if he leaves. Mm. I'm not surprised. A year left on his contract. Are they really going to go and negotiate another contract with Salah? What is he, 31 Even now? without Klopp and Salah, can you imagine? Be that, weird. Well, that's the thing. Nobody expected Klopp to be gone at the beginning of the season either. And look what's look what's happening. So I, 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 do th- I, I do think that it will be... I think Salah will be gone. I think, obviously, Klopp's going. Van Dijk's not refusing to comment on his future. One year it left. could be... It could be a completely different Liverpool squad. Real Madrid wants Trent. I think Trent's yeah. only got 18 months. I know a lot of Liverpool fans are like, oh, he's Liverpool through and through. But I'm telling you, man, Real Madrid come calling. That's a different knock, man. They've it's all got one year knock. left on their contract. Trent, Van Dijk, Salah mm. in the summer. They've all got one year left on their contract. Well, that's a, And with Cop leaving, that's a nightmare situation to be in. A, a Liverpool, really, what is he now? 31, 32, yeah. Salah? 31, I think, think he is, bro. Are they really, and they broke the bank to give him that contract, that extension, are they going to go to the well again and pay him more money to stay at the club? I don't think so. Listen, uh, LB, Jerome's coming for you. He says, LB says in one breath, Arsenal will drop points, then says they should win the league, wants to have it both ways. No, 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 what, what? No, Tell no, Jerome no, the true. difference between will and should, yeah, LB. Yeah, will yeah, yeah. And yeah. Two different... Hang on a minute, will... he, can, he can shout for himself, man. What are you getting involved No, 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 with? Jerome, there's, there's two things here. There's two things. One... <laughs> You want you 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 just want the nice things. You don't want to you don't want to have the bad situation, yeah, of not winning this league, yeah, because then you, obviously you have to address certain situations. What I am saying is quite simple. That You've got the hardest been. fixture running, yeah. You should, like Pete was saying, you should go and win them seven games because you're a very good football team. But you're, you're a very good football team. But I don't think you will. <laughs> sure That's will cool. different. Different to we'll have to see what happens at come end of May and see who's silly and who's not silly. Um, listen, it's uh, it's been a good discussion about the title, man. I must say, but Billy, I believe Dan United has got his camera off at the moment to go and get his notes. Um, did a little <laughs> bit of scouting, I believe, to the world class Conza uh, yeah. at the weekend. World class Conza, now, watch. Oh, was that- <laughs> <laughs> oh my wow. days! Wow, oh, my I'm locked in. <laughs> I'm locked in. God, <laughs> take it away, son. I want, to, I, want to hear, I want to hear your first. You, you first, Billy. So, fire away. Um, embarrassing <laughs> is, if I had to describe it in one word, embarrassing the bottle job from from us 2-0. You're not looking at these up. notes, are you? You're not looking at these... <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's, there's nothing I can say to possibly defend the bottle job of, of, of what happened on Saturday. Um, yeah. It was it was horrific, and the less said about cons the better, really. But I'm sure we're going to go into that. Well, look, I mean, I like to start with positives, and I think that I'm a United fan, so I haven't had many. So this week on world class, uh, 
Konza watch, guys. This will be a weekly thing because this guy has told us that he is world class. He's the best English defender. Um, that he's world class, which makes me worry with the uh, with the players around. But anyway, the first thing I noticed, Billy, I don't know if you if you saw this, that really concerned me was the commentators never mentioned world class Konza in the build up. There was not one mention. Now, for a player as big, for as you know, for a club as as you state he is. I'm, I'm concerned that it seems to be only you that's seeing this at the moment. So well, this I don't is know the thing, he's, he's, yeah, yeah. he's underrated, isn't he? He's clearly not, not, being, uh, not underrated. being noticed properly. It's weird, isn't it? World class and underrated. Two, I mean, you, do they go together? Do they marry up? Anyway, the, the positive things I will say is minute 3, 15, 10, 21, 48, 52 lovely two-yard passes. And when I say lovely two-yard passes, I mean they were fantastic. They were played in Bish Bosch, Bosch gone. The problems I have with him, the first question I'm going to ask you, is he a right-back or is he a centre-back? That's what I need to ask first. He's he's a centre-back by trade. Unfortunately, Matty Cash is out injured at the minute and so he's having to do a job at, at, at right-back. So are you saying he's, he's world-class at right-back or at centre-back? I'm saying that he's a world-class defender. Okay, defender. So I can do the whole job. Brilliant, brilliant. Glad you said that. Glad you said that. So, 15th minute inmate, poor pass to Bailey, goes out for a throw and then ends up conceding a free kick. Five minutes later, we witness Regulon not just run past him, he sits him down, goes past, gets a cross in. That, for me, it spelt, it spelt danger for me. I was concerned. And that was the first half. Obviously, you went 1-0 up. Then the second half, bang, you go 2-0 up. And I was like, okay, okay. Here we go. Clean sheet Konza. This is where we're going. <laughs> and then I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. So the goal's coming from the right-hand side. Now, here's what I saw in the first half that I think you need to watch with Konza for the rest of the season. This guy, as, as world class as you say, uh, uh, defending, not attacking, defending. There were four separate occasions where he's gone up the field and just forgot about defending. He's stopped. He's been caught out. And then essentially what we see there is Diego Carlos and we saw Pau Torres having to try and suck the ball in. At some points, I saw Leon Bailey running back further than him. So that was my first worry. Now, the, the biggest one was the third goal. Can you talk me through what you think the third goal, what happened there? Just just, just please. We talk about the third goal in the game? or Yeah, the, the, third, the third Brentford goal. The third, the third the, Brentford the, goal. The third Brentford goal. That... The whole nine minutes, to be perfectly honest with you, wiped from my brain. <laughs> wiped from your brain. Okay, okay. So what I'm going to tell you is, with regards, to with regards to Konza, I gave him in that game, I was generous because I find I, I think you're funny. I think you're a friend. I think your your memes on the chat are, are brilliant. And you've been very, very, um, very, very vocal about Manchester United this <laughs> season, as my, as my colleague LB said there. What I will say is I'm going to give him a 4.9 against That's Brentford. very generous. That is wow. very what, generous. What, what I want you to do, and I want the court, I see people are saying I look like a solicitor, I want the court, I want the 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 fans, I want everybody who's watching this, Mrs. Potts, um, everyone, I want you all to remember this is the day that Billy was sat down, shut up, and that fucking fraud Konza should never be spoke about as a world-class defender again. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Put him in his place. I love to see it. What, you know what the, 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 how, how brilliant it is that the very next game after the show, yeah, that is where he drops that performance. And, and you wonder why I don't get my you wonder why I don't get my chest out. What do I always say? I put my chest out and it always comes back to bite me on the ass. And yeah. it's done it again. So Little pessimistic Billy is coming back. Yes, your team is shit. It's not as good as you're overachieving. Yeah, your players ain't that good. Say it with us, Billy. Stop hyping your team up, right? You're frauds in this Champions <laughs> League race. You're gonna get you're gonna do a Newcastle next season. Sorry, Pete. No, no, no need to not mean it's five shots, but you're gonna hey, do a Newcastle next good. season and be straight back out and you'll be down. Say it with us, Billy. You're shit. Come on. No, look, we, we, we've had a poor week and we're fifth in the Premier League table. Well, so, oh, so the chest is back then, is it? What, what is it? Just, just, oh, just stating facts. Like chest and then straight away, like a return <laughs> I'm stating facts. 
It's a oh, it was are we are, oh, are we are not fifth in the Premier League? We are. Okay. Yeah, it's a fact whether you like it or not. So next next season, yeah. Do you expect that you're going to do anything of note if you get if you're in the Champions League? Well, we'll have to see what happens. We'll have to see oh, the well, transfers. Well, that's not pessimism, Billy. Out. You don't it's know that we get pessimism. Champions League in the first place. You don't know what pessimism is, Billy. Pessimism. You're supposed to say we're going to do a Newcastle and we'll be straight <laughs> out. Of it. That's pessimism. Yeah. So don't give us that, Billy. But I'm I'm not going to tell you that we're going to be have a poor season next season. While with still six games to go in this season, what are you on about? I'm just saying, like you got what you deserved, yeah, because you you that de- you started getting big for your boots week after week. We saw it, Dan saw it, I saw it, everyone every saw it. Fucking every time a goal was conceded by one of our teams, Billy's chiming in, chiming in, chiming <laughs> oh, in, and then and then this sharing a message with friends on a, yeah. on a WhatsApp. Yeah. <laughs> He was it'll cool. be, be what you're saying, man. You've got a nice little screensaver there. <laughs> yeah, listen, I just think um, we we are in serious trouble um, at the Euros if Ponce is the best English defender we've got. That's, that's, that's all I'm saying. Mm. You know what I mean? We've got, we got Walker, we've got Trippier, we've got Trent. You know what I mean? Even Harry Maguire. You know what I mean? Like, if Ponce is the best we've got, we'll be making mm. it out of the group stage, boys, I'm afraid. Early trip home from Germany. You don't think uh, City will be going in for him? Southgate No, mate, come on. Honestly, like, Billy gassed this guy up so much. It was absolutely ridiculous. You know what I mean? Like, if we... Uh, I I, I can't lie to you. I've got a question. The the moment I found out he was 26, I completely lost my head. I completely... And and the moment we found out that that fucking Billy was was saying Mings over Konza last season as well... (laughs) Honestly, sorry. Oh, 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 I've, 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 I've got, got this I've 19 got, I've year got, old youth, youth, youth <laughs> prospect. It's out. It's out. It's out. It's out. Really. Bit <laughs> Yes. I've uh, I've got a question on this. On this. Well, uh, who's going to come to? Is he going to? If if he's really this good, a big team's going to come in. Where's the same energy for Spurs players? Who? Because Who? Spurs haven't won anything. The, the likes of Mickey Van der Ven. The likes of Hyung Min Son. He's only been there three months. And Van der Ven's yeah. ten times the player Conza is. He's fucking incredible. Oh, all right, so why aren't big clubs? Why why won't big clubs going for him? Because he's only been where's, where's it's the only same energy. April. It's April. We don't know if they'll come in yet, do they? Oh, oh but but you but you're saying that Con- we should be expecting things for Conza because he's, no, he's no, no, so no, 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 no. Based off what you said, based off who do you think you are, Billy? Based off of what you said, because you said he was world class and he was the best English well, defender. All right, if I'll, that's I'll be true. If, if if Van der Ven is as good as everyone's saying is is and this that and the other, then I should be expecting top clubs to come in for him. No, in a few years, if he, he's as good he as, is a if fantastic he's as good as Spurs, player. Yeah, yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't hear, I don't hear Spurs fans gassing him up as much as you gassed up Conser. That's I'm that's the so thing. Sure. I'm not so sure. No, and no, you, you said he was the, the best English player, the best yeah. English defender. Going. I still stand by it, by the way. Well, if that's true, you will probably, probably get it. Have you seen the notes I got from the fucking weekend? <laughs> One he was game. horrendous. Two games. He was shite against fucking T as well. You know, you know what? I love when Billy said, oh, John Stones is messing up. He's messed up. And then Conza had a bad As game, soon as he right. said that, I was sat there thinking, Conza's going to get man of the match and get two goals today, isn't he? <laughs> I, like, I actually really like Conza. I think he's a good player. I don't think he's the best English defender. But, Look, yeah, we man, all we all have our opinions. It'd be a bo- it'd be a boring game if we didn't have opinions, wouldn't it? We all have the, the same opinion. comparison is a bit this shameless from you, Billy. Though, to be honest, because yeah. I'm not way? I'm not Spurs' biggest defender. Um, they don't win trophies. I don't rate them. But yeah, you've played what one season of European football in how long? Yeah, mm-hmm. you've been in relegation battle after relegation battle after getting promoted to the championship. What? What? You're year not was in a relegation you're... battle, by the way. What's that? One year we was in a relegation battle. Since every year up. since you've come up, pretty much, pretty much every year you've what? been. You're that in a relegation battle oh, first year. Christmas last year. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There <laughs> you go. Exactly before Christmas last year. Yeah, Gerard. That's why you had to sack him. And you can't put yourself on Spurs level. You've been here five. Minutes, I, I'm, I'm not. Put, I'm not putting myself ourselves on Spurs. So level. what is this? Oh well, why ain't but, Spurs? But, 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 You've been going on. If Cons is really this good, then he will want to go and win leagues and go and win trophies and titles at the biggest yeah, clubs. That's true. Spurs aren't winning trophies and titles 
Bale left, so, Modric left, Walker left, Kane's left. Yeah, there yeah. you go. All right, well, but but this this calling from play from for Spurs or for Spurs players, sorry, to leave because they need to progress their career at bigger clubs. I'm not hearing that. So in fact, what you're saying is Konza isn't is just as ambitious as the Spurs players that have stayed to win nothing. He's basically he has no ambition, and that's why he's going to stay at Villa. <laughs> I'm not saying that he has no ambition at all. Well, if he because stays at Villa, I, 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 he's I, I see, no ambition I, if he's the I, best in the world. I see, I see Villa as a progressive club who... Progressing are to, to what? Be, what are you well, progressing we're, look, we're looking to be here competing at the top year top on what? year Top on of year. the table? Top of the league? Towards top the top of the table, yeah. I'm not saying that we're going to... I'm not going to be saying that we're going to be challenging for leagues. Yeah, but I agree with that, only, Billy. Though I, only I agree two or with three that. clubs can I, do I, that. But Billy, I agree with what you're saying. But if, but, but you know, that's probably like two or three years off at the at the very minimum. You 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 agree? Uh, uh, yeah, at least. Right. Yeah. So, so so the point is, if Consor is really as good as you were making out, is he going to wait three years? Why won't you just join Arsenal? Why won't you join City? Why won't you join? Because, because like because it's like Kemi Martinez has said, that's easy. That's easy to do that. That's easy to do that. It's the merit of playing in the Champions League for a club was that no one expects to be there. I'll tell you what was 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 easy. It was three or four of your players to pull a sickie going to Etihad away. Yeah, big up. Well, that, <laughs> you're welcome, yeah. <laughs> Lay off me now. <laughs> uh, I've got a goal, boys, but um, see you later. Good shot. Yeah, man. love, Bill Take no care, worries, man. LB, mate. Take, Take care. it easy. Listen, I'm, I'm done for time as well, so we've got to do Newcastle and West Ham uh, I've got a thing for West Ham because a few people have got some questions for Lord in the chat. So let's quickly mention Newcastle. You obviously got the three points. Pete, good place to go and get three points as well, bruv. Um, so um, take it, yeah? Take it and run. <laughs> I'm taking that and I'm running all day long, Jesus Christ. Um, uh, Fulham, have, Fulham have beat a, a number of teams there this year. I think they, they beat Tottenham 3-0 there not long ago. Mm. Um, they, they're a tough place to go. And I was talking to uh, Emilio. Um, uh, about the game, the preview, and uh, he's such a great guy. Yeah. And um, to be fair, they were confident. He was confident they would hit back, and we weren't sure how we were going to turn up. We've got another injury. Joe Willock's out again. Don't know how long he's out for. It's just completely racking up um, injuries. But we we went into the job. First half an hour wasn't great. Really, really poor performance. Uh, but we dug in. And uh, we were the better team second off. Um, so, we, we, you know, we deserved to win um, in the end. But, yeah, we, it was ropey in the first half. It wasn't great. Um, Boyce has just said, uh, no, it wasn't. As he uh, just said, fun and batting. We, they did in the first half, 100%. But in the second half, we, we were much better. We dominated them. So, game of two halves, take the three points. And then we welcome Spurs at the weekend. Big Such game. Such a dodgy team, aren't they, Fulham? Like, they just, they can, they can turn up and... You know, I've we, I've lost against them. Lawless got spanked by them. They can take that. Yeah, exactly. They can take points. It's just consistency with them, isn't it? If we don't win, if we don't win this league. I'll look back at both the Fulham away game and the Fulham home game. We couldn't beat Fulham at home with bloody that. Uh, we they had ten men, and we had uh, the probably the worst performance at their ground. They've also battered Spurs at Craven Cottage, and they've got to play Liverpool and City uh, uh, at Craven Cottage as well. Fulham are a side you wouldn't want, man. And you wouldn't want to put your money on them. You don't know what you're going to get. Like, they could, they can cause some problems. So, if I'm a Newcastle fan, I'm buzzing. Because that, for the injuries you've got, I'm getting out of there with three points and I'm taking it, man. So, let me ask you this, Pete. Where, where, whereabouts are you going to... You guys just got to try and get as high as you can now, right? Honestly, it's not even about the quality of performance anymore. We said it um, after... I think it was about... It was after the West Ham game. Uh, we were saying on our reaction show, it's not even about the quality of performance anymore. It's about getting points on the board. 100%. Like for us, it's a it's a case of can we like the fact that we're still fighting for a European spot, whether it's sixth, seventh, or eighth, because that put us with Man U's result. It puts two points behind Man U. So we're we're in that conversation. We're a point behind West Ham game in hand. We're in eighth place. We've got a few teams behind us. For, for us to be in this position and even talking about is genuinely going for Europe, like, I'm taking this all day long. Whether we get it or not is a different question. But for me, um, I, I'm looking at the teams below. I'm looking at the way Brighton are playing. I'm looking at the way Chelsea are dropping points at Sheffield United. Wolves uh, have dropped off slightly. And I'm thinking, you know, if eighth is, is, is Europa Conference, I'm taking it. 
If you were to offer of of me that now, I'm taking, I'm snapping your hand off all day. Pete, whoever wins out of us when we play, I think we'll, we'll be the one that finishes highest. I do. When, when we play, we don't even know when that game's going to be um, confirmed yet because it was meant yeah. to be the week after Spurs, but you got the semi final. So it's going to be. What gonna, do you mean finishes be... highest? Do you mean out of you two finishes highest out of you? Yeah, two not, two? yeah, uh, no, I mean, I mean, yeah, out of us two. I don't mean out of everybody. I just Everyone. think whoever, whoever, whoever wins out, I think we'll finish above the other. I think I think Man United will get sixth still, but it will be close between sixth and the bottom half now, top half now. Chelsea, by the way, are the ones. They're like I know they're crap, but they've got loads of games in hand. It seems they've got like games in hand on everyone. They've got one yeah, game in hand. Said, they got no fingers on that hat, that, that hand. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> that's the problem. So they're gonna have all the games in hand. They love like, just look at the state of them. Drawing to the United, man. They're, they're an like, I, I said in the chat, man. Honestly, finishing below Chelsea. If you're Brighton, Newcastle, West Ham, or even Man United, it should be it's sackable. It's sackable, yeah. and you should be banned from the Premier League if you finish <laughs> above this Chelsea league team this season. Simple as that. Um, just, just lastly, Pete, where, do you think you'll get sick? Do you think you can get sick, Europa? Honestly, mate, if you're ask, if you're, can we get sick? Yeah, we can. We're only two points behind. The big thing for me, and I've been saying it all season. If we've got players available, uh, when, like, are, when are them players available though? Like, who have you got coming back? Well, we've just lost Joe Willett on Saturday. He went off, um, so he, he's is is Achilles injuries back. So he's looking like he's probably going to miss the rest of the season. Tina Livermento and Miguel Amir are not back until end of April, beginning of May. Uh, Pope is not back until the end of April. Callum Wilson is not back until the end of April. Joe Linton's back. You might get one or two games if he's lucky at the end of the season. Like they're not even back anytime soon. Yeah, you know I mean, so we're going. We we got Tottenham coming to us at the weekend, and we're going back to the well. We've literally got twelve players that you would want to actually select for our team available. The rest of them are just kids. Still got two goalkeepers on the bench. Then we've got a break, and then we've got Palace midweek, which is our rearranged fixture. Um, so the the one that's likely to be back by then is. Maybe Kieran Trippier, who's who's been a big miss. Um, yeah, yeah, a, big, yeah. a big player to get back. But some of these players are not even back anytime soon. So we're going to be going to Spurs, Palace, um, and then we've got Sheffield United at home, Burnley away, which you would ex uh, I would expect us to be picking up points there. Maybe get some players back for those two games. But like, it, honestly, I'd love to have confidence and say, you know what? If we had our full squad available, I'd be saying, yeah, we can get sick. And I'd be confident of us getting that. Um because even with those players not playing, we're still getting results. We're still managing to churn out results. And that, honestly, sounds really weird me saying that. That fills me with confidence next season, for next season. Mm -hmm. This is why I say we're going to hit back next season. We've got all these players. Well, keep hold of your game. players, man. You can't let Bruno no. and Isak go. You can't let Sam, go. just make sure, yeah, you're saving this and clipping this. Because that will be juicy if they are shit next season. That will be juicy. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, so, care, nobody, nobody will care about what April 2024 next season? Don't worry about that. Yes, I will. I will care. I, will care. <laughs> I know you will. Uh, you Billy, will Billy will be sending sending voice notes from the other page because Villa would have dropped down by then. They'd have been out of Europe. They'll be they'll be sort of 13th, 14th. Yep. We we still may be in Champions League this time next season. Who knows? Ah! Uh, <laughs> clip that. Clip that. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> We'll get that clip, that's for sure. I'm going to um, need more of these printed off. I'm going to need to print more of these off. <laughs> Too easy. Just real. More scouting audio. reports, please, Dan. More scouting reports, please. Look, I uh, didn't print it off the pitch. Look at that. I mean, that's, that's, wow. that's dedication. That's, that's dedication. That is very, very impressive, my bro. Very impressive. Um, listen, let's come to Lawless last. Uh, before we do, big up to Rich for gifting those uh, memberships. Absolute legend, man. Much appreciated. Uh, Wolves F1, always in the chat. Big up for your super chat, my bro. Says, uh, Wolves' season is over. Injuries, um, but top of that, other players are so knackered and mentally drained. No energy left. Now, I'm going to bring up some comments here that have been in the chat. Uh, this one's from Mustafa. Says, Lawless won't talk about Robin Wolves. David Cook has said, poor refereeing decision. Chris has said that Wolves were robbed against lowly West Ham. And I'm going to do something that might shock people. I'm going to stick up for, for Lawless here, man. Because 
I see Tobes in the chat going like voice noting him, saying he was the disgrace for not commenting on it. The laws of the game say that's offside. So I don't think that's West Ham's fault. Like real talk, I don't think that West Ham can do anything about that. Like the the offside decision means that if Fabianski's being impeded, whether you believe that he's impeded or not, the rules say that he is. So he's standing in an offside position, so that goal can't count. Now I understand that rules have been screwed by VAR this season by probably five or six occasions at least. But I can't say that's a screw don't screwing over, in my opinion, because as much as I might not agree that that is offside, the laws apparently state that it is. So I'm actually going to stick up for Lawless here, man. But Lawless, I'll let you have the mic, bro. Yeah, listen, we've been on the end of them decisions multiple times, multiple times, right? So that's why immediately when it happened, I was like, yeah, that should get ruled out because when you see it's when you see the other angle behind Fabianski you see more that he was blocked now I would I like I said I didn't like it when it happened to my team yeah I didn't like it but it happened so there's a precedent set right look there's a screenshot here yeah if you can all see that yeah <laughs> see that yeah that was ruled against Chelsea now Antonio's on the floor the ball is obviously on the floor as well. So you can maybe say, oh, it's blocking the vision. But he knows where the fucking ball is, right? Ben And Suchek scores and it gets ruled out because they say Antonio was obstructing the keeper's view, right? Interfering play, all this, all that stuff. The guy is right in front of um, Fabianski. Now, it's subjective whether you think Fabianski would have saved it or not. That's subjective. Well, That's what do you make to this? Do you make to this comment? Yeah, but well, that's the thing. It's yeah, it's subjective, right? So when it's a subjective, obviously you can't. He was offside, right? He was off. He was miles offside. The subject, subjective part is: was he blocking his view? He's right in front of the keeper. You make a decision. So it's not like you can't look at that decision and go, he was never blocking his view. Like it's one of them. It can. It's a decision that can go either way. Do you know what I mean, I would have been gutted if it was given, but I wouldn't be calling it the most disgraceful decision ever. Like it wasn't the most disgraceful decision ever to give it. It's just one of them. And the precedents have been set in other games. Now, unless they change the rule, and that's what you can argue. You can argue the rule is wrong and offside should, you know, but then you're going to have players just standing in front of goalkeepers and obstructing them in an offside. So, exactly. What do you change the rule to in that situation? Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we had a goal ruled out for Emerson. Fucking got, scored a perfectly good goal. Barely even touched their player. He goes straight down in the box. Foul. Ruled out. It was just one of them for contentious decisions. VAR got over-involved. And it's a signal. Like I'd say it is a signal for Wolves. You score an equaliser in the last minute and it gets chalked off. And I was, listen, I was buzzing. But. Let's just relax and not call it... Everyone's just doing too much. Match of the day is doing too much. Talk sports doing too much. Yeah? It's it's it's, it's not this, this awful decision. He's right in front of Fabianski. Because Fabianski has to sh save this 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 um, header, this corner. So, I, I think, look, they were the better the first half. We were a disgrace. And we were better second half. And That's the first time you've beaten them in a while, right? You said. At their ground, yeah. Then this is what I'm saying. We've beaten Bournemouth away and Wolves away, so we might be on for that Europa League. You know what I mean? Good things are, good things are happening. Big things are happening. We're killing all of these. Listen, I've been. How many points have we got with Man United? What's one, that? One, but we've got a game in hand. I think. Yeah, you've got game in hand, then you? Yeah. So that's the thing. They've got points on the board and a game in hand. Um, they're not in great form. So with one point behind them, yeah, there's a chance we could finish above them, but it's it's going to be tough. Martinez being injured um, doesn't do them any favours. So, yeah, like, it's... it's, that, it's sorry, all up just quickly, it. that game in hand's against Newcastle as well, isn't it? So e either way, points cool. are going to be taken off one of them. Yeah. Yes. Thought. Yeah. I oh, wow. That. I didn't know. That's a really good point, Billy. That is absolutely... Ooh. Yes, either one or two of them. A, a, a draw would be beautiful. For me, but where is it? Is it Old Trafford? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The um, the our game in hand though is we, we've got a game in hand over, over West Ham, but that's Crystal Palace. That's the yeah. midweek game. 
Um, um, but their new it, manager it, it, bounce hasn't started yet, Pete. So that's what you got to worry about. When that new manager bounce finally kicks in, it could be against you, mate. We, I'll be honest with you. We, we, we're not great uh, um, at Selhurst Park. We, we, we're not great travellers there. So um, we'll have to see on that one for sure. But that's our game in our on West Ham. The Man United games just changed because of the semi-final. They're in the semi-final. Oh, okay. So it's, that's like a normal fixture. But but that will come later on. Um but yeah, you know, if West Ham, I, th I think West Ham might play, might be playing that weekend. If you are, that gives them a chance to to push ahead. But but like I say, there's a chance we could all three of us can get Europe if eighth place is there. And as I said to you boys, I'm taking you, I'm snapping around up all day for eighth eighth yeah. place all day. Yeah, everyone everyone on here has got to be looking at Europe, Europe surely. Like Villa, obviously Champions League. I think United will get six. I really do. Like you boys, I don't know. Pete Lawless, I don't know where you're going to finish, man. I can't not not getting Europe for West Ham or Newcastle would be an absolute disgrace to see. Like, from where would the teams have been, from where we've been in the table, and for what our objectives are, it you it, it's not something you can sit there and go, oh, we finished ninth, top half, you know, fair enough, you know, we missed that. I, speaking for me, I would be fuming. Like, I we agree. have to I'm, win. I'm with you. You still yeah. going for a seventh, seventh flawless, yeah? Yeah, like I'm still looking at it. If we would have lost that Wolves game, right, or even drew, like it was imperative that we won that game. If we drew that game, I would then I'd really start being worried about um, the teams below us, like and us missing out on Europe. And I was flawless. sitting there thinking we might even get bottom off. Quick question: You were saying to me before about don't you dare throw it for Arsenal. For them to win the league, but couldn't Arsenal beating us give you the opportunity to finish in sixth? Great well, that, question, that's... Dan. Very, very good <laughs> question, Dan. Uh... No, honest, you should you shouldn't be you shouldn't be bypassing sixth place. You're a point behind these. We're two points behind them, and I'm saying that we could catch them. You're a point behind yeah. them, you're ahead of us. You should be saying you're going for sixth. Surely. Yeah, I'll listen. I would love to would rather conference league and, and Arsenal miss out on the league. Like I said, we'll be the severe of the conference league, mate. <laughs> would, you that, <laughs> would you rather that, Would you rather that, Lord? Would you rather that? Listen, it's, this is a tough one, right? If I no, look at not. that game... You're a West Ham come... fan. No, it's not. Uh, it's gonna be If it comes to the point where like, we're neck and neck with Man United still at that point, and you know, it's going to be Arsenal-Man United, oh my God, that's going to be sickening. Could I bring it? Could I bring it myself to root for Arsenal? Could I bring myself to cheer and, and support and want Arsenal to win a game of football? The, the <laughs> idea of it is sickening. I hope you're out. Of the, you know, you've dropped enough points by then, Pots, and hopefully Man United have dropped enough points then that it doesn't even matter. You know what I mean? And I can just chill because I don't. I don't want. I don't want to rely on Arsenal. I don't want to rely on Man United to beat Arsenal either for, for them. What to does FA it. Cup get you? Is FA Cup get you Europa League? Yeah. Yes. Oh, we're guaranteed it anyway, then, lads. Hey. <laughs> you got to get past them. Um, you got Coventry. next? Coventry. Coventry. You got to get past <laughs> Coventry, mate. If you don't beat Coventry, my God. My dear. Hey, hey. You. We'll be all right. We'll be all right against Coventry. Oh, Mark Robbins against Man United. Um, Ooh, I must yeah. say. That would be yeah, fun. Um, he's going to do all he can there, man. That's for sure. Listen, people, Listen, do me a favour. Go on, Lord. Go on, no, go on. No, I was going to say, I'm just thinking about it. Like, this Moyes situation. and Because getting Europe four seasons in a row is an amazing achievement. Um, one that no other clubs around us outside the traditional Sky Sports, Money, Big Six, whatever, have done in a very long time. I don't know when the last time Villa ever done at Europe four season. I don't know the last time Newcastle have done Europe four seasons in a row. Um, yeah. When's the Villa last time Man United? Did Villa do it with O'Neill, Billy, back in the day? Four we, seasons. We I can't remember four seasons in a row. That's the last time he was in Europe. We, we did it, um, obviously, before Mike Ashley. So we, Bobby, we, wasn't before it? Before Mike Ashley. So Bobby, yeah. yeah. So Bobby, I think, Sunez, Sunez as well. Uh, Graham's Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Graham, It'd be... Yeah. But, even he got us Europe, but yeah. I don't think that would be enough for me to want to keep Moyes. I think for me to be fully behind keeping Moyes, <laughs> got to get that Europa League. Sign that contract, man. 
You've just, oh, been, you've, you've, just, you've, just you've just given him, you've just given him a reason to sign you know, Boyd, mate. Boyd. Four seasons back to back, back to back to back to back. You've just nah. given him the reason to sign that deal. If, Boys, he wins the if West Ham, if West Ham are the fucking club to beat Xabi Alonso's unbeaten run, can you imagine? Football, <laughs> football is broken. They even uh, like, they nearly lost to Korobag, man. That's like it's it's worrying for them. Like if I'm looking at that, like Moyes, the way he plays, he ain't gonna come play football against Bayern Leverkusen, is he? So they're Le- gonna wait, Leverkusen lost to Karabag. No, they they nearly did, didn't they? No, they, no, they, they drew. They drew. They, the they did came from behind. Came they got two year. nil goals twi- twice. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Mad. Let's be like, honest, they, yeah. Mid April and they ain't lost a game yet. That's scary. Side note. If they go unbeaten in this season, this has to be the greatest Invincibles win. Oh, here we go. <laughs> no, because it is. When you look at how many games they've won versus drawn, the, the cup games added to that, you know, you can't take nothing away from it. Yeah, because the Bundesliga is different level to the Premier League. Absolutely. Oh, is that what we're doing now? Is that what we're doing elitism? Well, apparently, we're comparing them to the Premier League era, apparently. Disgusting. So there we go. But, yeah. yeah. We could do it. Like I said, if, if if he gets that, I'm telling you, if he wins that Europa League, contract and a statue, yeah, if he wins that Europa League. If he oh. doesn't, P45. Pete, Pete, because obviously we're not in this conversation. How do you boys think you'll get, get on in your European games this week? I think I'm watching Emmerdale, Pete. I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> Who you Anyone got, Billy? In Lille. 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 Uh, uh, at home this week, and then I'm actually going to France next week. Nice one, man. Nice so one. We ho- world, world exclusive, the- world ex- exclusive, world class content <laughs> watch will be uh, watching that game. You That's better record Emmerdale, Dan. You better record Emmerdale and get on that. Console. I've got two devices, mate. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyone see any? Anyone see any upsets? West Ham, Bayern, Bayern Munich, Arsenal, Man City, Real Madrid. There's so much going on, man. Yeah, I need to see if I need to see if Bowen's gonna be okay. Obviously, he come off injured against uh, Wolves. Oh, did he? And Ooh. yeah, his hip he felt some pain in his hip. He went down hard. Um, didn't get a foul. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he come off. Not um, bitter about it still, no. No, we're just if we're adding up, you know, referee decisions in that game that we keep hearing about, uh, you know. But <laughs> so I've got to hear about what happened. What's happened with Bowen? The away game. Has to be about fucking just park that bus, get out of there with something, yeah, a point at least, or a one nil defeat, right? If Are you just, away this yeah. week? Yes, we're away first, which is which is big, taking back to London Stadium, and then uh, we will just yeah, the atmosphere will be incredible, and then we can try and get over the line. If we do, it's Oaks is coming on this show, and uh, <laughs> it is going to be. Oh, it's going to be un- unpleasant for some. That's all I'm going to say. But we can come away with something. A bloodbath. Yes. It, it will listen, be. It really will be. Yeah. It's got to be tactics. I don't know, man. I, I mean, too, part of me feels like we can do it. And then I know no one gives us a chance. But look, if we After come away with it. I'm saying nothing, mate. After last same, season. Same, listen, same. we beat Sevilla in the Europa League. No one ever gave us a chance to beat I think they'll beat you. Sevilla. I'll say it now. I think they will. I don't care if Sam clicks me up. I think Bayern Leverkusen will beat you, but I don't think it'll be a trance in like some are saying. That's what's what score saying. then? What's the score? I think over two legs, I will go with a 3 1 Bayern Leverkusen. No, I wanted one leg. Are we were talking about in the first game. What's the first leg? Tell me the first leg. Is it at your oh. place first? No, it's at their place first, which is which is good for us. I think they'll beat you. I think they'll beat you 2 0. And I think it'll be 1 1 in the West Ham League. We can listen, we can turn around 2 0, man. We can score. I'll, I'll t- I'll, listen, our front our front line scored goals, scored two mate. goals against them, so. Yes, they did, Billy. And we, I think, the way we play will be their crypt tonight. Mark well, listen. Florian Wurtz. Florian Wurtz. Oh, Florian Wurtz is unbelievable. They've got I'm some great in for that. Just for that alone. That, that, uh, what's his name? That right back's quality as well. Frim- 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 yeah, Frim- man. Quality. Yeah, but the left back as well, Grimaldo. Grimaldo's yeah, been quality. They got him on a free, I think, from Benfica, yeah, didn't they? Did. What's the signing that is? Anyway, listen, people, and, oh, do me a favour. Just, to, just to add, Grimaldo, Dan Ashworth, we wanted him. He said, nah. 
That's that's third down Asworth. That's Mr. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Uh, listen, people, make sure you do me a favor. Make sure you like and make sure you subscribe and make sure you go follow all these guys on their Twitter handles as well. And before you go, make sure you do me a favor and support our sponsors, Football Prizes. They are back. They've got some fantastic prizes as well at the moment. These ones are now new. We have uh, Mikel Arteta, number one on the back. Can you imagine if was we he a got goalkeeper, a, was he? A <laughs> yeah, I must admit, I did look at this one and think, what's that one all about? Uh, but listen, imagine what that would be worth, man, if we win a trophy this season. For the cost of just three ninety five. make sure you get yourself involved with that one. For the same price, you can also get in for Ollie Watkins, um, signed and framed Billy. Billy. Also, you've got the actual built in LED lights and a video reel as well. Of Ollie, stop, Watkins. stop. Where's the Conza shirt? If Conza's <laughs> a world class guy, where's the Conza shirt? This is well, Rashford. Rashford. Well, he's world class. He's, he's clearly world class. Rashford. Signed and framed <laughs> Manchester United shirt. Rashford. Brilliant as well, by the way, uh, with the instant prize and signed boot. Frank Lampard for all the Chelsea fans out there as well. And there's a couple up here that I think people would be interested with, including my, uh, yourself, Lawless. Oh, <laughs> yes. Now we're talking. Now we're getting world class. Now we're exactly. talking. Exactly. <laughs> for the Wolves fans in the chat, we've got um, Mateus Kuna as well. For Spurs fans, Mickey van der Ven. And you can get Sarah and Charleston as well. Uh, where are we? Newcastle. I knew there was one. Lewis Miley, Pete. And look, Champions League of 2023, Pete. Signed shirt as well. From 2025. We change that's that to what you want. <laughs> that's what will be next season. Next when season. they're back. <laughs> yes. 100%. There's a Man City Real Madrid opportunity as well for hospitality tickets. So make sure you're in for that one for 195. That's got to be worth going. Even if you're not a supporter of either of them, that would be an unbelievable experience. So make sure you get in there. 699 tickets still available. And we've still got, I think there's literally tonight, it ends. Um, in a few hours, we've got the private jet for England versus Slovenia, 195. So make sure you get yourself in to yeah, win yeah. for that one as well, man. Um, listen, unbelievable football prizes. Link in the description. All you got to do is head over there. So make sure that you're in it to win a chance of some unbelievable prizes. There's also an Usyk and Anthony Joshua signed glove as well. If you're not into football and you're into boxing, so make sure that you go over there. They've got new prizes every single day. So make sure you keep up to date with them uh, and big up to them. Make sure you show them some love. Listen, Dan, absolute legend tonight, man. I've got to give you another round of applause. That was an unbelievable segment on Konzo. If you have missed it, people, go catch up on it. Make sure you go follow Dan on TikTok at United First. Make sure you hover at Total Screamers and AV Billy on socials for Billy and Loaded Mag NUFC for Pete and, of course, his Twitter handle. And go follow out the Lawless if you're not already, if you want to go Twitter and just listen to some of his absolute rambling about West Ham and Moyes. So uh, make sure you're there people for people. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you do me a favour and stay tuned people because you're going to be literally heading over with me to lead Judges TV for myself and Judges talking about all things Arsenal for all you gooners in here so uh, make sure you're there we'll see you next time take it easy people we're out